Good morning folks, this is Mozart Mike, Saturday morning, and I'm doing a little bit of soil prep for fall cover crop planting. You know, a mix of different uh, brassicas and legumes and grasses that we're going to plant fairly heavily to cover this area and provide some wildlife food, prevent erosion, and make a cover crop so that next year when we start to put native grass in, we'll have a a fairly clean seedbed. I've gone through this area and killed it with herbicide and then I went through just with a small kind of a, a, a soil preparator tool that, that kind of just breaks up the sod. It's not really a plow uh, but it has tines that, that are somewhat like a plow. So it broke the soil up a little bit and now I'm running this soil conditioner. I don't need to see the rotating drum. It's got nubs on it, steel nubs. And it breaks up the clumps, passes them through, and uh, also takes any big rocks and thatch and things like that and kind of keeps pushing it, keeping it pushing ahead of me. So here's kind of what we got going. There's a big rock and hopefully that'll just pick that right along and get it out of our way and get up to the end and leave it at the leave it at the end. You can angle this thing and it could, it, it could windrow those rocks for you as well. And on real rocky areas, that's what I'll do with this thing. Uh, I've, I've run this thing for a year and a half now and it is uh, very effective in making a nice seat bed and leveling uneven ground. It does a pretty good job of getting rid of thatch and at least incorporating the thatch. Um, it, it could do better. There's probably better ways to do that. There's probably better ways to put seed into, into standing vegetation as well. And I need to look into all that at some point. But uh, we got what we got here. And this is how we're going to do it to get it ready for, for a, better, a better purpose. So there was a monarch butterfly, I believe. Um, lots of them here. I left my thistles and wildflowers in the fields so that uh, they would have things that they need. The pollinators have been very happy down here this year. Uh, I've also got a bunch of goldfinches flying around and I believe that they use uh, the down from those thistles primarily for their nests so they don't even show up unless there are uh, thistles of the type they like. So it's been kind of interesting to see my big rock. I don't want to pick that up again, so I'm going to drive over that and start right here. So the way I've been running this thing is I put the, I put the boom arms in float and I just kind of drop it down until the wheels are touching and get it about the right till depth. That's probably a couple inches and that's plenty to get the thatch out and kick the rocks along, at least the surface rocks. If there's any big rocks underneath, they'll just bounce over them. Uh, one, one complaint I have about this is the, the wear on the uh, on the points. They're, they thread into a socket and uh, they, they're replaceable. The company charges an arm and a leg for them. And so I've replaced a few of them with just uh, grade 8 3 quarter inch by 16 thread bolts. You can put a jam nut on them. So I've got some nubs that have big bolt heads on them. Those bolt heads are getting worn and they're practically gone. But uh, it, it kind of it does the same job. I haven't noticed any difference in terms of its effectiveness. Now you see there, there's a bunch of thatch getting piled up there. So I'm going to slow down a little bit, let it let it kind of process. In a big wad like that, sometimes it'll pick up a bunch of stuff, cause it to lift off the ground and not not till. So. That shoot through and it'll eventually eat it up and incorporate it into the soil or keep pushing it along. So I'll let you ride with me on one more pass and then uh, we'll close this video out and pick it up another time, another location. I'm also running my running my skid steer on what they call the creep mode, which is about 50% uh, forward speed. It keeps, uh, basically lets me just land the, uh, land the forward control and hold it, hold it steady. It keeps me moving along at about the right rate. I may be, I may be pushing it a little quick sometimes, but uh, I'm only back off when we need to. happy with this. You can see the difference. You can see what the seedbed looks like there versus what it looks like where I'm going. 
should be putting fertilizer on first and incorporating it with this thing, but it's going to be a while till I can get fertilizer here. I can't find anybody with a ground-driven fertilizer spreader, and I don't have a tractor with PTO to put fertilizer down with a PTO, and I've got about five acres still so doing the bags. It's probably not going to work out real well, so figure something out. Alright, I'm up the end of the row, got to spin around, so you got what's going on, and uh, like I said, it's a very effective way to get a seed bed going if you're looking to make a seed bed. So, over and out.